So let's talk about some best practices. So building great strategies is not easy, right? Um, I've, you know, out of a hundred strategies that you might back test and think of and ideas, you know, maybe only five or 10 are actually really good and 90 are not good. You know, 90 are either overfit or they're too risky or, um, you know, they're uh, not robust. Um, how can we sort of, sort of filter those out? So I have three kind of best practices that I like to use. So number one is test out of sample. Um, so when you think of an idea and back to strategy for a period of time, say it's, say it's 2021 or 2020, um, you want to a run the back test long enough that there's different market regimes. So if you just ran the back test in 2021, it was, you know, primarily a bull market, um, your 2022 results would probably be bad, usually bad because, uh, it's been a bear market. So you want to be able to back test it long enough to have mul multiple regimes, um, there's no set in stone of like, oh, back test it for two years or 2.5 years or three years, but try and do it as long as possible so you can have multiple regimes and then, you know, zoom in on those regimes, you know, zoom in on say 2018 and 2015 when we had red years, right? How did the strategy perform? How did it interact? Um, and then on top of that, test it with new data. So, you know, if you're back testing, say 2018 to 2020, um, and the back test looks good, and then you optimize it, then try to back test it in 2021 or 2022. How does it perform? Are the results better? Are they the same? Are they worse? If they're worse or the same, most likely um, your strategy is overfit. Um, if it performs better, then that's a good sign that you have a robust strategy and that it could perform. Um, and yeah, understand which market regimes your strategy will do well in. You know, sometimes your strategy you back test it, you do it out of sample, everything looks good, you're super happy, and then you run it live and it doesn't do well. Well, usually strategies only do well in a certain market. So you have to understand what market regime you're in. And um, if you understand that and you say, all right, my strategy only does well when it's high volatility bear regimes. And um, you know, understanding that, it gives you more confidence and, and makes you question less about how the strategy does, right? So once you start kind of, doubting your strategy or questioning it, it's not a good sign. It means you, you didn't do enough research to, to see when, um, what market regimes your strategy does well. in. so really when you're, when you're back testing, look at which markets happened and look at the years and say, all right, in 2018, when we had a red year, my strategy did well, why? Right. So that sort of stuff, understanding that and, and documenting that, documenting that is really important.